Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Quest. I'm recording this immediately after the previous episode, so we're gonna go ahead and finally activate this Miasm more battery. It gives me five recharges, which is really, really nice. Um, we still have some other stuff to get. It looks like I don't even get yeah, it looks like I'm getting another Power Stone for Night Nightlight Milk and Farside Fjord. I get another Whack Whack Stone. So it's a while out until I get that Golden Cooking Pot. But that's the last reward in the main quest, it seems. Everything else I've gotten. So very exciting stuff there. We also have a couple of rewards over this way. Don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and take all of them at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. I might wanna hold on to that battery because this one is a recharge battery plus five, which would, you know, I only need two. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. But at least it won't bother me every time I go into the, the camp now. And that's really what I was looking for. So yeah, we got a couple more materials there. I did a lot of leveling up on different Pokemon last episode. You definitely wanna check it out. Uh, a lot of poison types, a lot of other types. So yeah, we now have a level 70 muck. And maybe that will make the difference when it comes to actually getting what I need done. We take a look at our team right now. We have a lot of electric, electric types because I've been trying to make progress in World 10 in the meantime, but I think with what we got, we can retry World 9 at the least. Give it one shot, see how things go, and have a good time with it. Maybe it'll be better. I don't really know. So we're gonna start with the level 72. Mach has six charms. Really not a ton, but compared to what his level 40 brethren did before this, I think it's okay. And then we definitely still wanna have coughing, who's level 45. I really, but that's sort of the thing. I'm a little bit on the fence about him, because we have this Weezing. I, I called him coughing, but he's a Weezing. He just has, what? He has Sludge Bomb and Self Destruct. Self Destruct really hasn't come all that in handy. I gotta be honest, I don't think it's going to. I think it'd be better to have more poison. Last episode, we got another coughing level 39. You have how many slots? You already have one, two, three, four, five, and you have Smog. The users, okay, well I guess that's not all that much better then. It would be great if I could put Smog over that, but I think it would be better to do level up training. I really just need a higher level so we can get more slots, because you already have five slots um, at level, whatever that was, 39. This guy is six levels ahead, he has six slots. So how close is he to his next slot though? I think that'll make the big difference. Um, you are nowhere near it, so I really don't know how many levels it would give you, but I don't think it would be enough. It would be cool if you could preview how much it would truly give him, but I don't think we can. So then it's the idea, should we do self-destruct over what we got? I don't think, like move learning almost always doesn't work out for me. So I think it would be smarter just to do level up training with it. And then maybe I could use some other Pokemon I have a lot of repeats of. I have a ton of Parises, or at least, I think I have at least one or two extra Parises that I can throw in there and see how that ends up working. So we have our Weezing first off. Then let me go ahead and put this other Coughing, who is not a shiny, not a shiny, nothing, no mistakes being made this time. Um, and then we do have like a Paris here, level 34. That's our Parasect, so I don't wanna get rid of him. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we have two Parises at the moment that I can train. But for right now, this will get you three levels. This would get you an extra, no, it doesn't do anything for you, so that wouldn't be worth doing. We'll try this though. I really don't think it's a big de deal to lose out on Smog. I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Um, but that go ahead. That will go ahead and get you to level 48, which will at least give you some progress into your next damage stone, which is okay. We have gotten better stones since we've last tried this as well, so that could also be a benefit. We'll have to wait and see, give it our best shot, and head on out. So right now we have a decent team, right? We have, okay, well I didn't actually apply those guys on our team. I'm thinking, what if we did that and we did Alakazam? That way we still have that psychic bonus. And then we also have these two doing their poison damage to whoever they need to. And then total that's six, six. Yeah, okay, all three of them have uh, six power charms. Okay, very cool. So we'll go ahead and just give them the appropriate power charms they need and sort of see how things go with that. So I'm, I'm gonna do some house cleaning real quick. I think we will throw on some of the more strong stuff to Alakazam, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these bottom ones that I really don't need. I cleared out, so nobody's equipped anything right now except for the uh, these kind of stones, but I don't care much about those at the moment. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and do some auto setting, I think. Like this will give you, oh, we're gonna turn off for a cycle. A lot of damage, 3,500 damage to be in fact. Is that entirely necessary? We'll have to sort of double check. <laughs> but for now, I'll take it. And then if I move over here, we're just gonna keep auto setting, so you're the wheezing. And then finally, um, the muck, who has, you know, a lot of decent stats on his own. So I think having him have some of the ladder stuff really isn't too bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna make a balance with that. It should be fine. Now, this is Venom Drench. I think that it would be good to maybe throw a, a Whack Whack Stone on that and then also 
Can we make it broader? I don't think we can. What we can do though is give it a stay strong stone. That would be good. Um, then we move over to the the wheezing, and he has the sludge bomb, and that I'm gonna go ahead and give a broad burst stone. Or maybe we should just go ahead and make it lower cooldown. And then for fun, we could throw this here if we wanted to. If I don't, we get the Alkazam. I mean, maybe I'll, I don't think double barrier is gonna be too helpful, but what would be helpful is, what if we did double sharing stone, making that uh, really powerful barrier? That could be good. Let's try all of that out. I feel like we have a pretty damaging team. We'll get some bonus for it being psychic, then other bonuses for it being poison. 11,000 total isn't too bad, almost 12. This might be one of the stronger combos we've headed into uh, World Nine with. I just really want to get World Nine out of my hair, you know? It's just, it's been there, it's a pain in the butt. I would really like to be able to deal with it. You can see we made some good progress with World 10 now. It still is enough to match up, but even if I had a full team, like I don't have that many psychics. I would like to change that, but I don't know if that's really gonna work. So we're just gonna go ahead and immediately throw in a barrier. That's gonna be super powerful and hopefully last a long time, but I don't really know. Um, maybe I did it too soon though, but I have it again if I need it. Because for whatever reason, this last level in World 9 is really weird, where just no Pokemon will show up forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the barrier on again. Why not? Oh, there they are. Okay, so we found them, so I will throw this on an additional time once we get a little bit closer. Just like uh, now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Sludge Bomb. We'll go ahead and try Venom Drench. Okay, you guys are not close enough. Um, Try the barrier again. Try Sludge Bomb. Got it, okay. Um, That's taken a while, but so far we're, we're defending ourselves okay. Sludge Bomb again, because these are all the dark types that we're trying to use these uh kind of moves on. We do Venom Drench, 6,000 damage there. Having a level 70 muck, I really think it might make at least a bit of a difference. I don't know if it'll be enough to actually win, but maybe enough that if I keep persisting, we'll eventually get the win. That's really what I'm looking for. Okay, so where are the next set of Pokemon? The only benefit is running around this much means that, you know, Alkazam here can heal up a little. I mean, it's not by much, but... Okay, more wild Pokemon are coming in. Sludge Bomb them, there we go. Venom Drench, that missed. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, dodge. Oh, oh, okay, you got disabled by something, the barrier. Okay, that sort of stinks. But uh, we got rid of this guy almost. Okay, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, you're confused, which is actually not good. Sludge bomb, boom. Keep going, keep going. Teleport away if you can. Let's try toxic. Uh, oh, you're confused now? You're confused. That's sort of bad timing. Sludge Bomb's gonna do some damage to you. We can put the barrier back on. So these guys caused an issue because they sort of disabled us at a wrong time. But we're doing okay still, and we teleported to this guy. I hate it when it does that. But it feels like whenever we don't run into issues with the dark type Pokemon, we run into issues with this jerk. We're gonna get them double Magnemite after this, right? So it's just like, it's always a problem. There's always something weird happening with it. We did get rid of you, it just took a lot of work, and now we have your friends who basically just do that, but doubled up, and it's really dumb. Um, and we can't really poison you with your light screen. So like that's where this thing is getting messy. They just get honestly messy. Sludge Bomb. Uh, that sort of worked, which is decent. I mean, I'll just keep putting this barrier on, for sure. Okay, we got rid of one of them, without having to lose a Pokemon, which is nice. I can't do that because we're paralyzed. Uh, that's sick. Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb. Got him, one more shot, one more shot. Any of you can do it, any of you. Got it, okay. So now we got this guy. This is just the same song and dance every time. It's a mess. Come on, come on. Uh, barrier, sludge bomb, come on. Okay, he's actually poisoned, for real this time. Somebody actually got poisoned, he self-destructed, which means goodbye Alkazam. Um, we need you guys to not go into the fray, which you're going to right away. I don't know where the Pokemon boss is, but it just hold on for a little bit, that'd be great. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Because your barrier is about to end, now is not the time to go into it. And there they are, so they're gonna be chasing us now. Alkazam is less than halfway done, or more than, or less, yeah, only has halfway to go. What are you doing? What, what are you throwing? Oh, who? Just try to survive for Alkazam to come back up so we can get like a barrier, and he's not gonna be with us. No, he is, okay, awesome, so boom, barrier you guys. Let's do Venom Drench, let's do Sludge Bomb. I don't know if that's actually gonna land. Why did he just immediately go, oh, I know a good idea. Let's just run into the center of them. That's not a good idea, dude. I'm tempted to do the self-destruct. You're gonna get taken out again, so just put on one more barrier if you can. Jeez, it just never ends with this stuff, does it? 
It never does. Like, why are you so powerful? It's not fair. Oh my gosh. Like, maybe the Magnemite would be better with his dark move, but I don't know. I'm thinking that's better than Alakazam. So maybe we'll try Magnemite instead, but it's just, I'm gonna give up on these stones, but it's been like a console trial and error. Cause like I can go ahead and level these guys up super high level and spend a bunch of time in do doing that. But I feel like, is it really worth it? I might get these guys super high level and it just won't be effective still. And that's sort of the problem is that I'm trying to find something that works and then make it powerful, but that doesn't seem to work either. It's like, okay, well, it just, I'm stuck. Just gotta keep getting more Pokemon from the cooking pots and keep using those guys to train. I feel like that's just more effective than battling at this point. Okay, so we got a Mud Pie on a cube. That's gonna be decent, but nothing crazy. Who is that? Have we gotten this Pokemon before? This might be new. Uh, no, it's just a Sandshrew. Never mind. Uh, level 33, but nothing I really want from him. So we'll probably just go ahead and uh, throw him back in the mix of everything. Okay, so get this back of the silver. Auto set. There we go. I mean, we used more of our mushrooms, which I don't know if that was a good idea. Okay, so I have to sort of figure out what I want to do next. I think it's just going to be, it has to be the Magnemite over the Alakazam. I mean, either that or over the the, the, the Weezing. Like, maybe the Weezing isn't that great. I think that, that might be it. Cause like it's good to have the poison type, but don't feel like it's doing good enough. Okay, so we'll try this out and anything we can just put over what Weezing had will be good. So, Weezen had that damage stone and this damage stone, just like uh, Magneton here. Uh, Weezing just had like a bunch, or yeah, yeah, he had a bunch of damage stones, so that's not too bad to do. And then we'll do this one, and that's a pretty good combo. I mean, look, 2700 damage is really nice. It might even be a higher overall level, I would hope so. But uh, we're gonna just take his Whack Whack Stone and put it back over, and maybe that'll be enough. I can only hope. 12,000 is a higher score for base, which is pretty good. Cause we were only at, we were almost at 12,000 before. So maybe it'll be enough. I'm just, I'm so sorry this has taken me so long to figure out. It's just not easy. Okay, we do get a plus 2,000 for that, which is pretty good. That's the closest we've gotten to the 15K so far, I think. So maybe this one. Wow, this time we got immediate Pokemon. Okay, that's not a bad thing. It's just interesting, much different. Uh. Okay, so you're taking a while to get your moves restored. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, do what we can about it. Okay, so let's do flash cannon on him. Don't care. Boom, got rid of you. That was pretty nice. Okay, so that wave is cleared. Only Muck took damage. We're gonna put the barrier on the, as soon as we see the next set of Pokemon. I'm gonna be ready for it. There they are. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to do Venom Drench. It's, it's just one Pokemon, so it's probably overdoing it, but we'll find out how you're gonna disable him. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. Actually, I think he failed his disable, so that's pretty nice. But now they're all beating up on him, which is really bad. So if we can make you teleport away, that'd be really good. Yep, just like that. Actually, teleport worked for once. What do you know? <laughs> okay, so we're sort of kind of handling things. I mean, it's not perfect, that's for sure. Um, we got more Magnemites coming in. Venom Drench. Okay, that seemed to work. I mean, you're not poisoned, but it, it's something. So this guy's not too bad. I think we got it. And then, uh, I probably shouldn't have used Flash Cannon against you, but at the same time, it looks like it was sort of kind of helpful. But we gotta deal with more Magneton now, which is a problem. So, I'll try to use Dodge when it's appropriate, but it's rarely useful enough. Okay, so I need probably Alkazem to teleport out of there, because he's gonna take a beating. They're both gonna focus on him. Um, so if he could just teleport away just like this, we have Barrier for a good little while, so we can wait for that cooldown. Uh, but <laughs> they just sort of form around him again. Come on, Venom Drench, Venom Drench. Got it, and then boom, hit you with this. You're out of here, turn around to you. Oh, I missed, come on, dude. I need you to really not miss right now. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hit him, he's almost down. You guys can get him. Okay, do Venom Drench. Sure, why not? I mean, that has like a forever and a half cooldown. Because he, he, he does it twice. Okay, so maybe that's the problem with that one. And then we have this jerk. Every time I think we're out of the woods, I remember that this guy's here, and it ruins my fun. Come on, hit him with the flash cannon. Hit him again. Make this guy, oh gosh, we really got spun around there, or at least Muck did. Come on, everybody run, everybody run! Yeah, okay, we actually dodged it. Awesome. 
Okay, so last dude, we all have half health, so he's probably still gonna destroy us, but this feels like our team that has the highest chance of winning. Now that I've actually put in the practice, I think that's actually the case. So hopefully that's actually true. Flash cannon, barrier, toxic maybe. There we go. That actually poisoned a couple of guys, which is good, but he's about to get taken out, which is really bad. Oh, really, really bad. Okay, so we probably wanted to have you teleport away. Ah, oh, so problematic. It's like these are high level Pokemon as well. And the fact that they just sort of get their butts handed to them, it's ridiculous. They really do expect you to have super high level Pokemon. So at this point, we'll probably spend the rest of today's episode training up. Maybe this team, maybe different teams. Uh, your Pokemon are all tired out. There's a really isn't like, I could just sit here and play with these guys over and over again and get like one level each with them and just bore the heck out of both you and me. Or we could try leveling up Dratini and have some fun with that. So I think that's exactly what we'll do is we'll just sort of switch out one of these guys for Dratini and then go to a different level. Uh, sort of like whatever will work. Probably the, the rock type for Magneton, like that might work. So let's go ahead and add our team and just have fun with that. I really wanna see if we can't level up Dratini and sort of figure that out. He, she's level, he or she's level like 20 something, so we can put that over Alkazam. That shouldn't be too bad. He only have two power charms though, which is not so great, but we'll do what we can with it. And we'll give you 635. That sounds pretty good to me. You're still gonna have a hard time surviving, but I definitely wanna try Dragon Rush. These are flies and enemies for a short distance from itself with great intensity damaging them and then also agility. So we'll give this a shot, see how things go. Um, We'll do, can we do broad? No, we can't. We can only do like lower cooldowns and that kind of stuff. So something like this might be helpful. Okay, it's gonna damage itself apparently, which is not good, but we'll just sort of see how things go. And we will move back over to, not this one, but that one. And we won't do that, but instead we'll do something like 7-3. That sounds good, I hope. Okay, so we'll give a shot with everything here. Even if Dratini doesn't do so well, if we could just get him a couple of levels, that would be good. So we'll just put agility on you now. Oh wow, uh, did I do the wrong one? I don't know. Okay, but I think that we have a high enough team high enough level team that will be able to sort of charge whatever we want to charge. Let's try Dragon Rush. Oh, it wasn't too bad. It does damage himself though, which I, I don't know how big of a fan I am of that. But boom, we got some good stuff. We move back this way. What do we got? Wild Pokemon, more Bell Sprouts. I mean, I have a Bell Sprout. I don't, I haven't evolved it yet because I know it's gonna take forever to level up. So let's try Agility again. Yeah, that like sort of does make his, his movement speed faster, which is okay. It's not like, you know, like a must have thing, but it's something. Okay, let's try Flash Cannon. Got you, and got you. I mean, we're much closer to defeating World 10 now than we are World 9, which is, I feel really ridiculous. Like, why does it work that way? I don't know. Okay. Oh, did you just run away? You did. Why do you keep doing that? Okay, ready, set. Boom, throw that poison on you. Do the dragon rush. Okay. Venom drench might not be so helpful, but we'll try it. And then dragon rush again. Nice, that wasn't too bad. But the Dutini's putting up some, some effort, which is pretty, pretty appreciable. Come on, keep hitting that. Not bad. Dragon rush. Dutini's probably gonna get taken out sooner or later, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Our other two Pokemon haven't taken any damage. So I think we're fine. And there's the boss. So that uh, victory bell. Okay, so I don't know what Muck's doing way over there, but uh, we'll do flash cannon on whoever we can, and then dragon rush one more time. Not looking like it. Okay, well we tried. We'll probably do toxic, so I can just maybe get an easier chance of uh, poisoning these guys. Sort of kind of worked. Uh. Okay, got it. And then one more time, boom. Okay, venom drench. That landed, the first one landed, will the second one land? Will we do it? There he goes. Okay, see, we got this guy. Easy stuff, finish him off, finish him off! Ah, oh, you almost did. Good job, Dertini, you tried. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty nice. Uh, I just hope we get a lot of levels for Dertini that way. I don't know what level she had to be. But not just level 25, probably level 36. So it's still gonna be a heck of a lot of work, but still pretty good to get. Okay, so not bad there. Let us keep moving. And do we have any Pokemon available? We do not. So we could try the next level. I think that we could probably even jump. Eh, well, let's try 7-4. Keep 
keep moving with that. We handled ourselves just fine. Like I said, Mach and Magneton did not take any damage, so I think we'll be fine. I don't know if Dratini getting taken out constantly is really gonna affect the experience too much, but it's, you know, even if it's a level per thing, it really isn't too bad. As long as we just keep going for it, and then maybe we'll get lucky enough to find another Dratini out of one of these cooking pots, and that would make it even better. I mean, we're definitely not gonna get any better Power Stones from here. And that's sort of something I noticed that with the, the final level of World 9, every time we seem to get a really nice looking Power Stone, even if we didn't succeed, I had to pay tickets to get it, but I feel like if I can find a way to defeat World 9, I'm gonna have a really good combo for getting some really nice Power Stones for a while. That would be nice. Okay, so let's try Dragon Rush on these guys, boom. That does hit multiple targets, so definitely when they're grouped up like that, I guess it's another good opportunity for us. Try Dragon Rush, boom. And Flash Cannon on nobody. Wish there was a way to cancel a move before they do it, that'd be nice. Oh well. And we already got to the boss, holy cow, that was easy. Okay, so it's Muck versus Muck. A little awkward, but I'll do what we can with it. So let's try to agility over to you, and then... Try this out, try Dragon Rush, try Flash Cannon. We should be able to tear you up. We might even be able to do it without Dratini getting taken out, but at the same time, they are focusing on Dratini, so chances are low with that, especially if we just try to Dragon Rush. But I didn't, I didn't this time. Okay, you're really low. Come on, yeah, we tried. <laughs> oh gosh, where do you think you're going? Try the, uh, the Venom Drench. Don't think that'll do too much. Oh, your friend showing up, huh? I don't like that. But Muck is almost down, so if we could just focus on Muck, that'd be great. Wish I could just like, Focus on him. Doesn't work that way. Uh, flash cannon. Get rid of those two in one shot, then hit you. Do the toxic. Probably is totally vulnerable to poison though, so it might be a silly idea. Go ahead and do dragon rush. Gotcha, nice. Venom drench again. At least that does some damage just outright. And then boom, this is the big hitter. And then hit you again with it. Nice, you're almost down. And we gotcha. Okay, so Dachini actually got taken out twice that time. I think she got taken out twice last time. Lots of fossils, a ton of them. Another damage stone, level 26. Level almost 27 there as well. That was a lot of experience. Why, I guess just, yeah, a lot more that time. Okay, so very good stuff. I'll gladly take it. I think we can move on to the next level and probably just, just do fine. So we might as well go for it. 7-5. I think after this I'll have to do some recycling of some more power stones. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, expedition starting. We got that Oddish. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit you with this right away. Boom, and I miss. How embarrassing. Okay, that time it didn't miss. Hitting for 5,000, now I sort of wish I still had it though. Dragon Rush, nice, got rid of that Oddish. That's for sure. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we got a couple more Oddish. I, I do remember this level now that I think about it. Yeah, it's just like a thousand different Oddishes for whatever reason. The Dragon Rush seems to be doing some decent damage against him now. There we go, we got him. The Dratini feels like it's really weak though. I mean, I know it's only level 20 something, but I feel like maybe it's the kind of Pokemon that just gets much stronger as it evolves. I could be wrong. With how many people were excited with its evolution, I'd ha I have to imagine it has a pretty good evolution. I think, yeah, it's a Dragonite, which I think I remember. Okay. Uh, Venom Drench, Dragon Rush. Okay, come on. Nice. This doesn't do too much damage, to be honest with you. Come on, you're about to, get, about to get taken out. We might as well do the Dragon Rush or the, yeah. Okay, somehow you're still holding on for longer than I thought you would over there, Dratini. There you go. Okay, so Flash Cannon, please just get rid of one of these dudes. This is actually getting a little bit more difficult. I mean, I think that Muck and Magneton will be able to handle themselves. We got a, something there that must have been good. Had a fancy noise. Okay, so we might want to try Toxic this time. Uh, Toxic Spin. That didn't poison either of them. Come on, got it, and then got it. There we go, very good. And there's Dratini. So our boss is coming up, it's this Vile Plume. We just got a Vile Plume last episode, so that's pretty cool. Let's try Dragon Rush. We'll try Venom Trench. Come on, and then finally we got Flash Cannon. That should get rid of a good chunk of these guys, I would hope, or at least damage them down even more. Oh, we're trying to do one last Dragon Rush there. But even then, you know, we're still handling things. Our muck is poison, that's not how that's supposed to work. He's supposed to be doing the poisoning, not get poisoned. Come on, how did you miss that? How in the world did you miss that one? That stunk. Okay, just attack this guy, it should be fine, as long as you don't take a million poison damage. I mean, oh wow, wow, you actually got taken out, dude? Seriously? Don't tell me we're gonna lose this. Okay, Dratini's back. 
The savior. Uh, okay, and he's gone again. I am so disappointed in you guys. I mean, I understand that maybe the typing is not perfect, but it's poison versus poison here. Run away, run away, run away, run away. If you can. I don't think you're capable of it. <laughs> come on, don't you land that. Oh my gosh, come on, Magneton is almost up. Can you avoid taking one more? Thank you. Um, hit you with the double, hit you with the Venom Drench. This isn't gonna be enough. Ah, oh, that was awful. So we can't do this level all that much. We're just gonna have to do the level before this if we wanna keep leveling up. Okay, well that's a waste. I wonder what that stone we got was. Probably not that great, it's only level seven. Come on, keep hitting. Run away, hide. Just do whatever, ah! <laughs> ah, I don't like it. That stinks. Okay, whatever, don't care. Yeah, do not care. Don't think it's gonna be anything any good. Well, you, you'll still get level 27 out of it, which is decent. Almost that next health stone, which will be helpful for sure, giving you a little bit of extra health. Durability can be good. Do we have, yep, a new Pokemon. Hopefully something worth evolving. I cannot wait until we unlock gold cooking pots, so that's going to be so useful. In the meantime, I can just hope that we keep getting a good variety of Pokemon that'll be good. Uh, ground type Pokemon for this. I don't know why we're getting mud pies. And I don't need them. Two Onyxes. Okay. Uh, ah, hi dudes. You are doing pretty good. Level 66, you have rock polish. The user polishes his body to reduce drag, raising its movement speed for a while, and then rock smash, which is a fighting type, which is weird. And then also we have this onyx is level 46, and you have a uh, rock throw. The user picks up two rocks and hurls them in front of itself, damaging enemies hit by them. That is not too bad. And then sandstorm. Ooh, you sound tempting. I mean, you have a lot of health stones. I do really like the onyx we currently have, but I don't know. I mean, maybe one in doubt, mix some things up. Maybe that'd be better than I mean, we already have the Arbok that has the rock too. Maybe it'd be smarter to, 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 to have something like that. Okay, we'll try this out, see how things go. And we'll be getting three more Pokemon cooking pots in the next round. But first off, let's edit our team. And uh, see, because like this is another Onyx. Like what is our high level Onyx? Our high level Onyx is level 68, which honestly isn't too crazy. It was level 40 something that had the skills I liked right down this way. And maybe that'd be better than Rock Tomb. Cause then it's just the other thing is exactly the same, the Sandstorm. Um, and they're both rock, just like uh, Rock Tomb is. So maybe that'd be better, 234. If I go back, what is the other one? What is Rock Tomb? I'm pretty sure it isn't 234. I can say that much. Hmm, 212. So yeah, you know what? We're gonna go for that. We're gonna see how things go. We're gonna get the the lower level Onyx and level it up with the higher level Onyxes and just have a good time with them. So uh, move back this way, low level Onyx right there, not a shiny, double checking the moves. As you can see, it has the two that I want. Yup, yup, yup. And then the other two higher level Onyxes it should be pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it'll actually get the level 68. Like that gets to 61. This gets it to 70, nice, okay. Then, you know, we do get an upgrade for it, which would be good. The Power Stones weren't too bad. If I did stick with the higher level one, that would get you to 77 though, and that's really tempting as well. Oh, it's so hard to decide. But I feel like level 70 is pretty good. We're bound to get another Onyx sooner or later. We get them so often. I didn't really realize they were such a common Pokemon. But once again, not a shiny, not a shiny, not a shiny, okay. Got it. You're just gonna become level 70. What do we get for that? Lots of, we're gonna get at least this Power Stone for sure, maybe even another one, because we're going 24 levels there? That's a lot of leveling. And the rest of it's damage. I feel like, or at least not this one though. Uh, so I feel like we have a fair balance of da or damage and health stone, so that's pretty good. It is the health stone next, but I feel like that's not too bad. We got a bingo bonus there and there, which I think was more than the previous Onyx, or maybe at least the same. I'll take it, I think that's fine. Don't know when we're gonna use that, but I think it was worth doing. And yeah, we can just go back into the action. Keep leveling up with what we got. Try to get the Stratini as close as we can, at least level 30, if not more than that. Okay, back to our expeditions. And if we get like another Pokemon that we get a ton of already, I think I might just use it to level Stratini some more. Like if we get another 
uh, Ponyta, if we get another Onix, if we get another Paris, I might just throw those guys in with the Jatini. If we could get you to evolve, that'd be fun. I feel like that's gonna be our fun project for today's episode, is just evolving a Jatini, seeing how cool of a Pokemon it might end up becoming. Uh, let's do Venom Drench, like that. Okay, we're doing all right so far. I mean, we've already passed this level. It was the previous level before this that I had a hard time with. So we're just gonna stick to this one. I think it'll be good for some good experience. Boom. Yeah, and this one only has two waves as well. We got a lot of experience from this one the first time we did it. We got over a level from it. Okay, well, Pokemon, who would have thought? But I am starting to get really curious what happens after you complete these worlds. I'm, I'm disappointed I'm having such a hard time with it, but I'm excited to sort of just, you know, see what's next. I'm ready for it, I think. Well, I mean, my Pokemon aren't, clearly, because we can't get there. But I'm ready to see what's next in this game after you complete the 10 worlds, because clearly there's something important in game-wise. And I just sort of want to find out by just going through. So we got a lot of paralyzation happening there. Luckily, even Dratini survived. And the paralyzing's almost done. Come on, just hold on for a little bit. Okay, so we got the muck. Really not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the Venom Drench, and then maybe we can do one Dragon Rush. That'd be pretty good before you get taken out. There you go. Okay, so not bad. I wish we could move the camera on our own, though. I thought that'd be way more helpful. But nope, there's no way to do that. Sometimes Nintendo can be silly with that kind of stuff. They sort of like force like schemes and ideas. They're like, if you don't like it, well too bad, there's no option to change it. They, they really don't like changeable controls at all either. It's always a weird thing with Nintendo. They have very specific ways they want you to enjoy their game, and if it's not good, then play a different game, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to hit this. I guess we're not gonna hit on them, we're getting rid of his little friends, but we're doing fine against them. It, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we got rid of all of them now. We're just focusing all in on you guys, or you guy, just one of them, it's just Muck. And we got you. Awesome stuff. So, that is, that boss defeated again. That should be at least level 27. Which will be pretty good. Ooh, nice, a share stone. So, I mean level 28. Okay, we're already level 27, and that's almost a health stone. So yeah, this level uh, is really great. It does some good experience for us, and we should have three new Pokemon now. Super exciting, let's check them out. Maybe they'll just be tons of repeats, but I just like the fact that we've been having a higher chance of getting doubles when it comes to Pokemon. That's been so helpful. What do we get? A mulligan. Honestly, I'm getting more excited to see the mulligans. It just gives me a better chance with everything. Uh, Hitmonchan. Or may maybe Hitmonlee. I think it's Hitmonchan. Uh, but here he is. It's Hitmonchan. Level 59. Now, you only have Mega Punch. I do have another Hitmonchan. I might actually just use you to level up him because I like his moves better, I think. But this is a hot pot a la cube. Let's see what we get. Another Charmander. We've gotten so many Charmanders. I wanna get some of the other starters, but I haven't been very lucky with that. We got Charmander, we've already gotten this combo basically, so I'm not really too into that. And then finally, we have this dude. It's gonna be another hot pot. I really haven't been paying attention to what ingredients are going in. Two Ponytas, so one of those could go into the Dratini, for sure, if we wanted to. Um, so you're just a Ponyta, level 63, not bad. Fire Spin, and then this Ponyta is level 57, also has that Dragon-type move. No, that's Flying, Bounce, okay, has the same visual as the Dragon-type move, weird. Okay, so we'll set up the Cooking Pots again. And we'll do some more level ups. I'll try to put one of those guys into Dratini, see if we can't get some good stuff that way. Uh, no, let's do this, that should be good. And then move this way, and keep doing that. Got it. No, every time with you, stop it. Let's put some honey in. I mean, I don't, like, once again, we're not really looking for any specific Pokemon right now. I really need a little bit of everything to really make everything work. I haven't gotten any rainbow materials in a little while, though. Hoping we can get more soon. But we have a fair amount, 37's not bad. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some of those level up stuff. Let's see that one of the higher level, I should also check out my Rapidash. Where's Rapidash at? I think it's actually on this panel now, yeah. Rapidash has what moves? I don't think they really we really need to improve on our moves too much. Like, she actually, agility, flame charge. Actually, yeah, we really need to improve on those. Those are not good moves. Uh, I think we might then, hmm. 
I think we might level up a different Pokemon with that. Like, which which Rapidash, uh, which Ponyta did I like? Because I guess we just didn't have very many Ponytas that had good moves. Like, you have Fire Spin. And I think that's at least a little better. And then the other one, I think you, I got last episode. You have Bounce and you have Agility. Man, it's so, Ponyta's weird. Like maybe it's just good to keep with the Rapidash we got, but then there's level 57 down this way. We have so many. Why so many Ponytas? Yeah, you were the one just with Bounce. It's hard to say. I think our best bet maybe would be keeping with what we got, but no other Ponytas at the moment. Not looking like it. Okay. Oh, I want to keep to using this one with uh, Dratini. So we'll give that a shot and see how things go. So we're gonna put you down this way, and then where is that Dratini at? Level twenty something. Twenty eight? Twenty nine? Yeah, right here. And that's gonna get you to thirty two, which is really good. It's it's a jump up in the right direction, and that's what I've been wanting. And then I could try one of the Parises if I want level thirty four. Doesn't really help you too much though. You would need another really high level one. So like maybe the Charmander level 62 would get you to 34, but I feel like, you know, just one of them and then we'll, we'll do the rest the hard way would be pretty good. Okay, let's go for it. Boom, got it. And 32. I don't think that'll be an evolution, but it's a whole nother health stone and a half a damage stone. That's, <gasps> I was wrong. I was wrong, we get an evolution. What's it gonna be? Oh wow, there's something else, Dragonair, okay. Very cool. So we evolved into a Dragonair. I like it. Awesome. So at least we have that, but I think we're gonna keep pushing and try to get that to a Dragon Knight. I think that'd still be a lot of fun to do in today's episode. But beyond that, uh, where's our Charizard? He's only level 40 or 37. So this other Charmander will be a huge help to that. And the moves are about the same enough so that this should be fine. Um. Go for it, let's see what ends up happening. Boom, 48, almost 49. That should be definitely that damage stone. Um, but what else? Probably not anything really. Like we might be able to get like half of the next stone. Oh wow, not even the finished stone there. That's sort of stinky. Okay, I mean I could put that uh, Char Charizard. Did I call it a Dragonite before? Probably, everyone's gonna be mad at me. Over you, get you another level up. That could be good. I mean, I don't think we're gonna have an issue with this going into that world seven again. We'll just have to edit our power stones one more time. <laughs> okay, so when we do this, so we'll get our second bingo power, which will be great. And I don't wanna like overthink this too much. I just sort of wanna go in with what I got. Yeah, let's just do this. Should be fine. Let's go in and get to another battle. I really don't know if we're to be able to complete anything in today's episode. We're not really finding much of the Pokemon I need to really make that kind of stuff happen, but I'm having fun. And I think having Dragonite would be cool. We got Dragonair now. We can get you four more levels. I think it's gonna be 36 for Dragonite. I didn't know there was a different, like, I thought there was like an in-between. But it's a really cool looking Pokemon, for sure. Oh, they are all lined up, so that's gonna be a really good uh, Flash Cannon. Try to do it again, though. Uh, we'll Dragon Rush. So you should be more capable than ever for taking care of some Pokemon. I didn't give you a new Health Stone, though. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, well, did what I could. And then do Flash Cannon. That actually be unnecessary, so I'm not gonna do it. So Dragonair's still gonna take a bit of a beating, which is unfortunate, but it should be okay overall. We'll do Fire Punch, see how this, this works out. It always misses. I don't know how big of a fan I am of Drag or, or Fire Punch. Bad. Okay, we'll just keep doing Ember. Ember sort of has the same issue that uh, our Shockwave has for our Electric types. Uh, Electrode and P uh, Ra Raichu, not Pikachu. Um, is that he has to jump backwards to land it for some reason, it's really weird. Okay, so we got this team going on. I think it'll be good for something, I can only hope. Uh, hit that, do the flash cannon. Okay, do it again, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we could try the fire punch, you're right there. Okay, that's sort of land. Dragonair's back, go ahead and hit something. 2400 damage, not bad. Do the flash cannon. How much damage does that do? Okay, your friends are showing up. No, don't turn around, you could have hit the other guys. Ah, oh, Magneton, you always choose the worst time to do that stuff, dude. Okay, Ember, that's not too bad. Dragonair's down again. I mean, Magneton's at full health, so I think we've gotten this. I think this is gonna be another one. Uh, Ember, 
Not bad. And they're just sort of waiting for whatever's gonna be first. I think it's gonna be Ember again. Looks like it, got it. And then finally, this double flash cannon. Both of them land, might just be enough to get rid of you. Looks like it. Comboed with probably Charizard attacking normally. Awesome stuff, so that should definitely be a level up for Charizard, hopefully a level up for Dragonair, we'll have to wait and see. And, oh yes, okay, level 33 for Dragonair, and another Power Stone for Charizard, which is really good. I don't know if we'll exactly use it, but I'm just glad that we haven't. I mean, we will use it when we do, but I don't know if I'm gonna continue using Charizard, is what I meant to say. Maybe, I mean, it worked fine. Getting more levels in Charizard certainly can't hurt, but I, I do wanna level up more Poison types, it's just, Hard to tell at this point, sort of like this tough position we're in. I mean, maybe I could keep leveling up Muck. He's almost at level 73, but unless he's like right there at another stone, which he's not, I think it'd be smarter to level up a weaker poison type like the Weezing. Because you're level 48, and how close are you to, not really that close. So like even that's gonna be a lot of work. And you only get like one point each for each stat when you level up, it's really not that big of a deal just normally leveling up. So maybe we should just keep with the, the combo we have. We'll focus on getting a health stone on Dragonair and keep moving with that. I really, really wanna be able to uh, get you to Dragonite today. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so who can we give you a health stone from? We can give you this one, the 427. It'll bring you all the way up to 1220. And at the least, we get a bingo bonus. It gives you more room to do more of your own uh, thing. And your own knockback distance is minus 10% which actually isn't too bad. And then moving over to Charizard, we'll get our second bingo bonus for this dude. Um, So we wanna do another Power Stone. We'll do this one from Alakazam that's not even a part of the team right now. That'll boost you all the way up to 2200, which really isn't that bad. You have movement speed plus 30% and resistance to burn plus 100%, which is pretty good. I mean, nothing's really gonna burn you around here, but it's good to know that we have that option to deal with. We probably have to recycle some stones. Probably gonna yell at us about that. Oh, I'm out of PM tickets. Oh, hey, what do you know? Okay, well then I can go ahead and go to our quest and get a couple more. Totally didn't even notice. So go over this way, get this, and recharge your battery five more. Cool, so we'll try to use up the last of those five battles, or at least keep going until uh, more cooking pots are available. And we get Dragonite. Yep, here's the recycling. <laughs> Always has to show up at some point. Can't just have indefinite room. So let us recycle, get rid of these two for sure, and these ones as well. Lots of low damaging damage stones, really not in my interest. Okay, so going back in, getting Dragonite, and living an amazing life because of it, I hope. So what action do we got going on here? Looks like we got these guys. And also, if you guys don't know, the new Pokemon game is releasing this year. I think a lot of people keep forgetting that, just because I guess, I don't know. Lots of actions happening this year already, but I do plan on playing that one. Some people just have been asking that as well. Like, you know, do you plan on playing the new Pokemon game? Yes, I want to finish uh, Dra uh, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun. I started that, haven't finished it. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to it because just new game releases after new game constantly. But if you guys are interested, I definitely will get to it whenever I can. Okay, so that uh, Dragon Rush missed, which stinks because it uses some of his health, but maybe only when. Uh, it actually damages, I'm not sure. Okay, let's try Dragon Rush on these guys. I got one of them, that's good. Flash Cannon, Ember. The Ember missed. <laughs> we're doing okay though, nobody's actually taking too much damage and we're already moving into the boss. Usually Dragonair gets knocked out at least once before the boss. So that's actually really good. Step in the right direction for Dragonair. Uh, okay, so we got the Muck again. Some bosses seem to have like two possibilities on what the, the boss will be but not all of them. Maybe that's only for final bosses, but I don't even think that's the case. It's weird. Okay, so we're already damaging you pretty quickly, which I like. Uh, it was gonna be available first, it looks like that is, and then Ember, and then this. So yeah, we're gonna be able to tear him up. We might actually be able to have Dragonair survive this one, which would be amazing. Flash Cannon, maybe even Fire Punch this time. Okay, his friends are showing him this one, things get a little tough, but we landed a really good Fire Punch there. So Fire Punch takes a lot of skill to really properly uh, use. Sometimes, it's just about having proper timing. But once we land it, it does a ton. So that was very good. Dragonair not taking out a single time. I like it. So 48 uh, materials there as well. 
Level 34? Wow, okay, so this one thing is gonna get a bit, a bit more difficult, but if we keep going, we will definitely inevitably get the level 36 at this rate. Just doing this level over and over again. I could try different levels, I just don't know if it'll give enough experience, and if this works, just stick with it, you know? So, we'll have to wait and see. So, waiting for Pokemon to show up, and then we'll probably immediately like flash counter them, unless it's just one or two of them. No, okay, it's a couple. We'll try Ember. Okay, so you're gonna miss both of those flash cannons because you weren't where I thought you were. That's my fault, I'm so sorry. We'll get rid of them nonetheless, it's fine. Okay, Dragon Rush. Come on, you can do it. You didn't, okay, you sort of did it. It was weird, you just did it differently this time. Instead of jumping on them, you did a little spin. Weird stuff. Was that it? I don't know, I think he actually just took a while to do it for no reason. Flash cannon, will that land? It will, awesome, boom. Come on, one more, you got it. Okay, now we got these guys. Let's use Fire Punch on them. Okay, I landed on one of them. No, we didn't. <laughs> I thought I did. It's such a weird move. You gotta be so close for it. Got it, and then Ember? Let's just do Ember. That should be good. Oh, I did Agility by accident. Okay, that landed. Don't use Flash Cannon. Why did I do that? I feel like the Dragonair gets bigger with each battle. I swear. She looks larger than before, but maybe that's just me. It's definitely just me. Dragonair's really cute, though. Okay, so here's Muck. I think it'll be fine. We did the, the last time so easily. It's gonna be fine. I don't know if Dragonair's gonna survive. It has a little low health comparatively to last time. I don't even know where the Pokemon is. We're all sort of being awkward about this. Boom. Okay, come on, come on. Fire Punch if I can. That'd be really good. Fire Punch. Boom. Got it. Flash Cannon. Dragon Rush. Okay, hit the, the Flash Cannon again. Nice. Ember. Probably could have. Actually, I'm glad I didn't do the. Uh, Fire Punch, it looks like they knocked us back there a little bit. It's looking like Dragonair might get taken out though. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, come on, Fire Punch. That was decent. Go back to Dragon Rush. Oh, you're about to get taken out. Okay, not as good this time. It was just sort of a matter of luck sometimes. Fire Punch, that didn't land, come on. That stinks. Oh boy. Ember, we're just gonna do Ember, just to be safe. Flash Cannon, you're done for. Okay, so we got rid of you nonetheless. It should be the next level for Dragonair, which is good. We got pretty close to the end of the current level, so we should get a good chunk into the next one. Yeah, like halfway through 34, not bad. Like that really isn't bad at all. And we're slowly but surely getting to a next damage stone for Magneton. Doesn't really matter too much, we already got the, no, we don't have the triple uh, bingo. That will be the triple bingo, so that's good. Okay, so back into it. I'm not gonna waste any time. Just keep moving. And hopefully everything will work out fine. There's 17 or more types of Pokemon. Indeed, that's a lot of Pokemon. So I'm sorry if this has gotten a little boring, but I just wanna keep leveling up these guys. I think it's working out just fine overall. And sometimes this is sort of a matter of the game is just training things up. I'll try to find more time to do it between episodes, of course. I'm really hoping I can find a team that works and just train them up so powerful that next episode I can just go ahead and defeat World 9. Maybe that'll never ever happen and I'll be stuck for the rest of my life. That sure is like how it feels right now. But I'll try my best. This is definitely a, a different combo than before. Okay, Ember, Ember, got it. That wasn't too bad. And we'll have Flash Cannon. I just don't think I need to use it. Get rid of you, got rid of you, nice. So sometimes, like I think Dragon Rush damages, maybe I misread it because it doesn't seem to be the case sometimes. Or maybe it's only a chance. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're at the boss already. Let's try Fire Punch right here, right in his face, perfect. Okay, Dragon Rush, boom. Fire Punch, too close, or too far, unfortunately. Wow, you're taking major damage there. Get out of here with that. And then, Ember and then Flash Cannon. You're stuck in a corner, which will be really good for Flash Cannon. I know you're gonna bring in your friends, but maybe I can hit you one more time with this. Nope, of course not. So I don't know why we got so lucky with Dragonair last time, but this time we're getting taken out. Okay, so who can I hit with this? Anybody, really? There we go. And then Flash Cannon. Oh, do you have one more friend? Not anymore. Fire Punch, Fire Punch, boom! It does so much damage when it actually lands. It's a good move. I mean, there's been times I've said it's not, but now now I, I'm thinking it's actually pretty decent. It's just the situation that matters. Okay, so there is that done. Level 73, no, but level 35. If we can do that one more time, we will get what we're looking for. Do we have enough uh, battery to do that though? I think so. 
we have a cooking pot available as well. How exciting, things are going our way. Mostly, <laughs> I mean, sort of, kind of. So, we got five five, or five out of five, and then we'll have these other three, or at least two of them. Got another mulligan, good stuff. What do we get? It's another one of those uh, Machops fighting type things, which isn't too bad. What do you have? You have some fighting type moves. You have Rolling Kick and Bulk Up. You might actually be our best combination of a fighting type yet. I might keep you. That might be fun. Okay. So let's go back in here. Let's go ahead and do Golden. We'll auto set and we'll give this a shot. Not Golden, Silver. I wish we had Golden. We don't. Go back over and just do one more expedition. That might be enough to get this level up we're looking for for Dragonair. It's gonna be close. It's either that one or the, that, guarantee not that one, then the next one, you know? So that'll be great. Okay. So let's go ahead and deal with these guys as much as possible. Boom, hit ya. Do the Dragon Rush, do the Ember. Getting lots of like move combos, which is really nice. Almost got another Dragon Rush. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Boom, gotcha. And then we don't even need the Ember. Okay, yeah, that was good. Got 12 materials for, we're getting a lot of materials as well, or at least a decent amount consistently, which is, you know, stacks up to be a lot. And boom, gotcha. Okay, so yeah, we're almost at the uh, boss already. We just gotta get rid of these uh, weeping bells. It goes, whatever the first one is, I forgot. And then it goes weeping bell, and then it goes victory bell, which is weird, but okay, I'll take it. Bell sprout, that's what it is, okay. <laughs> Wave cleared. Yeah, we got 30 skin materials on all of that, haven't even defeated the boss. It's pretty good. So, let's be ready for this. Do the Dragon Rush Fire Punch. Oh, that was awful timing, as always. Knocked us back at the perfect opportunity. So right now he's not focusing on Dragonair, which might be his downfall. Come on, we knocked him back. I didn't land the Fire Punch because of that. Come on, let's see how much we can damage you before your friends show up, because they're gonna show up in a moment. Hit ya. Always when I throw out the flash cannon. Okay, so Dragonair, just keep doing your thing. We almost got him without you getting taken out. Better luck next time. Honestly, uh, Charizard got a lot of damage taken this time. Hit you. No, that was a miss. Wow, that's embarrassing. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm awful at this game. We should be fine, but this one went really bad. Come on, come on, come on. Hit you with this, and then hit you again. You're not gonna be able to land that one too far away. Wow, the critical there, 7,000 damage. See ya, dude. Okay, so, bunches of materials. And is that level 36? It's gonna be close. Ah, oh, way too close. Same thing with all three. The, all three of them are gonna get a level up next time, then I hope. So we'll go one more time, even if it's just for the level up, but we got two or three Pokemon to get now, three of them. Very cool. So lots of stuff at least happening in today's episode, you know? If not anything else. So let's go ahead and do this one. What do we get? Another Hot Pot, which might be, you know, another Charmander. Might be another Ponyta. Our 7,000th po po Pokemon. No, our Ponyta something. I don't know. Yeah, you don't really have anything that's all that much better, but level 70, that's insane. Okay, I don't even know what to do with them all. Just get a really high-powered uh, horse. So that's a mulligan, not too bad. Just get one. It definitely is pretty rare to get two Pokemon. You are a Clefairy, not too bad. You are having, you have takedown. Interesting. We do have other Clefairies. Haven't done much with that Pokemon type. I don't know if that's Psychic or Fairy. Is Fairy even a Pokemon type in Gen 1? I don't know. Another Diglett. <laughs> okay, so not like a crazy combination of Pokemon here. I could honestly probably use the Diglett to level up, but we don't want to do level up training. We're just gonna go in again and get a level up for all three of them. Okay, so I'll just keep with what we got, and we are gonna stock up these cooking pots again. And then one more time, go into a battle and get Dragonite. That'll be so exciting. I'm so... Very interested to see what he looks like in cube form. Because I would think it would just sort of look like Charizard. I don't want the rainbow stuff in there. Instead, we have 984 of these yellow nuts. Let's make this an all yellow one. Maybe we can get like a powerful Pikachu out of it. Maybe we should start doing that. Maybe we should like specifically be looking for Pikachu. 
That way we can level up our Raichu, because our Raichu definitely needs more experience, more levels under his belt. So let's just do all yellow little Apricorns. And that should get us a yellow Pokemon for sure before we've been getting Abras out of that. But if we could get a Pikachu, that would be really good. So I got all that. We're gonna move over to our expeditions and see how things go. We should be able to do things just fine, even though it feels like we're having a harder and harder time as we go along. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> Okay, so recycle these two, and these. Even if they do have like golden or bronze stuff to them, they're still not really worth holding on to just because uh, they're so low compared to what we have. The deficit we end up getting isn't really worth it, so it's just worth it to get rid of them. Okay, so one last time, we will go into this level and the training will be complete. Everything will be perfect. Wild Pokemon are coming in. I don't care, boom, flash cannon. Can we, well let's do Ember, if we can. Ember, got it. Do Dragon Rush on somebody, boom, get rid of that. Little Grimer, that was good, okay. Nice start to the first wave. We got these guys, let's do Fire Punch. And I missed my Fire Punch. Dragon Rush though, won't miss. There's almost second wave done. This, this part really usually works out pretty decently. And then, got him. Didn't get poisoned. Come on, just everybody attack, everybody attack. Got it. Okay, boss fight time. Wave cleared. Where is he? Because we're gonna take him down. We're all at full health. This part's easy. Flash cannon him, definitely right away. And then we're gonna do dragon rush and miss. Okay, the dragon rush was a bad idea, I guess. Fire punch, fire punch. Boom, 3,000 damage is okay. Could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, But at this rate, I could do another one. Boom, got him and then we'll do flash cannon on him. Playing this chances of taking more damage. Okay, that was pretty good, down to half health. Punch, punch, boom. That was 5,900 that time. So we're doing really well. Hope we can keep focusing on him. But I'm definitely gonna do the flash cannon no matter who it hits. And then we'll do Ember, I think. That might be better. Cause we can, yeah, double hit those guys. Charizard can take care of that one. Do this. Oh, we got a rainbow. Nice, that's our first rainbow in a while. Dratini did get, or Dragonire did get taken out, which is a shame, but we did what we could with it. Come on, hit him with this, and then quickly hit him with another punch. Boom, that finished him off too. So, that should be a level up, I think, for all three of them. At the least, Charizard and uh, Dragonair. And 36, nice. That's gonna be a damage stone as well. Level 50 for you. Is that going to be, though, a Dragon Knight? Oh, it's not. Okay, so what level do you need to be to be a Dragonite? I don't know. Ah, oh, that's about as much as we can do, though. I mean, we can level up again. Magneton, almost level 73 as well. I'm happy for the extra damage stone. That's gonna make a big difference, I think. And four rainbow is pretty good. So maybe we should use some of those Pokemon to level up uh, Dragonair a little bit. Oh, you do have the expedition bonus, so we'll probably go for something at least one more time. But we probably wanna do a better level. Like maybe even get our electro types back in and try to do something with that. Uh, just because I wanna be able to get a level done that has the highest chance of getting us something cool with the expedition bonus. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and train up with some of our spare Pokemon. We don't need all that many extras of the Ponyta really. <laughs> so let's go to training. There's a level 70 Ponyta. Getting into level 36 was helpful for sure, but I maybe level 40? But if that's the case, that'll get to 38, really, dude. That's not 40? Crazy. But you, yeah, you, you didn't really have the best types of moves, I don't think. So we'll just keep that, and then we'll also throw in maybe even another one. Level 63, you had, I mean, if you had Fire Spin, I think I wanna hold on to you. I have a feeling that maybe we should have the Fire Spin as a Rapidash. Um, but you, what do you have? You just have that one, <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're definitely gonna go ahead and throw in this level 57. That'll get you to level 40. I know it's not the most effective way to do this, but it should maybe get us an Evolve Dragonair, please do. Whoa, almost another damage stone, and still no Dragonite. Maybe I'm getting this confused. Maybe I should look at, look, take a look at the Pokedex. Uh, Cause the Pokedex aren't alphabetical, are they? Are they? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, go to the Pokedex. Uh, Charmander's pretty soon. But then, yeah, no, it's definitely not alphabetical. 
Wonder what it's ordered by then. We're almost at 90 though. We are getting closer and closer to completed Pokedex. It's really exciting. Where is uh, Dratini? Okay, right there. Well, we don't know what 150 is. It's probably Mew though. <laughs> what doesn't Mew evolve? I don't know, I don't think Mew evolves in this game. I'm almost positive that's a Dragonite though. Hmm. Well, I don't know what more I could do. Like what level would you have to be? Maybe it's just 41. <laughs> just playing a little prank on me. What was the other thing I got that I have a lot of? I don't really think, the, the Diglett. What does the Diglett have? So it might be nice to level up my Doug Trio with that. Growl. But do I really need a Doug Trio anytime soon? I don't think so. So I think it would just be good if I could maybe just get a couple more levels out of that. I just, maybe it's like 41. <laughs> That'd be so weird. But I really have no clue. I really want to get it in today's episode, but we might have to just settle for a Dragonair because there's only so much more I can do. I mean, I can use one of these uh, Sand Shrews or both of them. But I don't really know. Okay, so first off, let's pop you in. That would get you to not even a full level. It's just, I don't feel like that's worth it then. Okay, so you know what? I think we've done as much as we can do with that. We got a Dragonair, which is a really cool Pokemon, and I can't wait to level her up more. But I think we should go ahead and get our electric team back out. So keep the Magnemite. But then also get our Electrode, which isn't, oh yeah, he's on this page and our Raichu. Try to combo that up and see if we can, at the least, get a really good Power Stone out of our last battle here. We're probably gonna do World 10-4, 10-5, the one before the boss fight we can't defeat at the moment. And I just gotta set the Power Stones again. Oh, I thought we were at the final boss before. I guess we weren't even there with the, uh, the triple things. I mean, we could try it again, but I think it would be just smarter to do this one instead, see how things go. Like, we've done it easily. Every level before the triple dodrios, um, we did really well. Like, it wasn't even a challenge. So I think that we can continue with that and do just fine. So we'll go ahead and do like a super long distance flash cannon. Get rid of one guy already. Nice, got rid of another dude already. Let's do electric shock on you, and then boom, got you. And then that was a waste for, uh, or thunder shock for Raichu, so. Going pretty well. I mean, maybe we could do the Doe Trios. We just got, we have slightly better stones. Nothing really all that crazy though. But if we could get a good stone out of this one, like that'd be good. And I'll try to level up between episodes again. Come on, get rid of this little squid. There you go. He's tentacool, that's what he is. Oh, we got another one. Get him, got him, <laughs> okay. We got a Hellstone out of that, might be good. Just hope it's not bad. Cause we're, like I said, we're at a level, a world 10. We gotta be able to get good stones console. It's sort of ridiculous if we can't. This is a tentacruel, sort of remembering it now. I think. <laughs> okay, so got that, and then I guess land that. That was sort of a waste. I sort of did too much of a combo of stuff there. Okay, so we're moving this way now. And this one has four, so it's a higher chance of getting us some extra stones as well. We'll definitely get a guaranteed stone at the boss, which would be nice. Get rid of some more Krabbies. Got rid of one of them there. And then get rid of, oh, I messed them all there. That was sort of stinky. Get rid of you, turn around and hit these guys, got them. And then one last Krabby to worry about, not a problem. We just hit for so much damage when we're not even doing moves. Okay, so here's the boss. Of course, he's this dude, uh, Kingler. Let's do the thunder, or the flash cannon. I don't know why I thought it was a thunder cannon because I'm misreading it with the other moves. That's why. Okay, so we got rid of one of them. Do this one. Boom. We almost have our other flash cannon, so if we could get rid of that little dude, focus on him like this, do a bit of that, and then thunder shock. Okay, that thunder shock didn't land, but that's okay because he's low enough that it almost doesn't matter. Got it again, got it again. Oh, that missed. <laughs> Why is it missed so often? Doesn't matter, nobody got taken out. So that was a pretty good round. 54 materials, one power stone. We're gonna get another one here at the least. Hopefully, yeah, okay, not bad. We got a golden health stone. We got 42 for Raichu, a little bit closer to his next damage. Not bad, almost level 57 for Electrode. Uh, that's okay, the 333 is over underwhelming. The 470 is not too bad, I'll take it. I think that actually can slide into our team decently enough. 
Okay, and we got another cooking pot. Now we're totally out of battery, so I can't play anymore even if I wanted to, but I'll definitely wait for that to recharge, train up our Pokemon, and just keep going above and beyond as much as I possibly can. I like our seeing our shiny Ratato over there. Okay, Mud Pie, out of cube. A Rhydon and a Sandshrew, I think? Looks like it. So here's our Rhydon. Rhyhorn, he turns into a Rhydon. He's gonna, I'm gonna put him into the Rhydon. Um, and then the uh, Sandshrew over this way. Yet another Sandshrew. Lots of these guys, for sure. Uh, very cool. So let's go ahead and plop all this stuff in. No rainbow, please. You know what, we're gonna do all yellow again. I'm gonna do all yellow and see how it turns out. And you know, we'll report our findings as of next episode. But can't do that this episode because uh, we're done for today's episode. Okay, so the last thing that we'll possibly do is to set up the quest, maybe apply that one health stone that we got, will be pretty good, but for our challenges, we got ourselves some more mushrooms. That's something, all right. Okay, so, what do we got for this health stone? And then we'll be done. All done, indeed. I mean, it was the 470, yeah, well, that's really nice. Okay, so, who has, out of this team right now, the lowest health stone? It's looking like, oh, we have a lot of health stones. Um, I mean, I guess I'm, maybe I can mix with this a little bit better, because now I'm sort of realizing things could be better with our, our setup for sure, because like we don't have a Charizard on our team yet. I'm sort of sacrificing some damage for that one. Must have missed that. But the health stone, it looks like still, I guess Electrode as well. Interesting. Um, so yeah, first off, this is 454. That'll go nicely over the 404 there. And then the 470 would be better than 450, but we'll be giving up a gold. So it might be better to do something like Raichu. Well, Raichu was almost getting taken out before, so if we can't upgrade his health at all, yeah, this is a nice direct upgrade. So we'll go ahead and do that. You know, 665 and time to recover is minus 13%. So very, very cool. I think that's probably where we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watched this for the video, make sure you comment Dragonair or Zebra. So many of you have watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.